Welcome to the Investors Trading Academy event of the week. Each week, our staff of educators tries to introduce you to a person of interest in the financial world. This could be a person in government or banking or an important investor or trader. Over the next coming months, ITA will take a look into each US presidential candidate. In this video, we're going to take a look at Bobby Jindal, Governor of Louisiana. Mr. Jindal announced near the end of June that he is running for president. Jindal's campaign got off to an awkward start after his team put out a hidden camera video in which he and his wife are seen telling their kids about running for presidency, but the idea was mocked on social media. In a gesture of good old-fashioned family values, Mr. Jindal and his wife, Sapria, wanted to let their kids know that he is running before they told the world. But the gesture took a modern twist as Mr. Jindal recorded the family conversation using a hidden camera up in a tree. Mr. Jindal is the first of four sitting GOP governors poised to enter the crowded race. The on-deck circle are New Jersey Governor Chris Christie and Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker and possibly Ohio Governor John Kasich. Mr. Jindal was appointed Secretary of Louisiana's State Department of Health and Hospitals at the age of 24. By 28, he was the president of the University of Louisiana system. By 30, he was confirmed a deputy secretary in the George W. Bush administration. Mr. Jindal has an accomplished resume for someone who's still in his early 40s. The Rhodes Scholar was 24 when he was appointed to run Louisiana's Department of Health and Hospitals. He won a seat in the US House in 2004 after falling short in his first gubernatorial bid and was first elected governor in 2007. Mr. Jindal garnered national headlines in the aftermath of the 2012 election for challenging Republicans to stop being the stupid party, referring in part to controversial remarks about rape by GOP candidates. He has already unveiled sweeping proposals to revamp the governor's role in healthcare, energy and education. He also likes to rail against the media and Beltway consensus, famously defending a member of the Duck Dynasty clan.